today on Sledhead 24-7. Center stage is spectacular on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. We'll meet the crew that creates the course and the top-of-the-line groomer they use. Later, Jeff Fisher shares new ways to accessorize your skidoo. Want to discover how to get more power from an already fast Arctic 1100 Turbo? Speedworks shows you how. Those stories and how to dress for success with ISOC. Sledhead 24-7 starts now. We brought a little bit of something for everyone. It'll be crazy, stupid, fast. Welcome to Sled Ed 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, here with my boys, Mac and Fish, at the home of horsepower, Speedworks in Forest Lake. Now, today is all about accessorizing, adding those details to really make your sled your own. So, Fish, I don't know about you, but I love this topic. What do you think about accessorizing? I love to accessorize. Like we like to say, trick your sled. There's a lot of different ways you can do it, and there's a lot of different bling you can bolt on your sleds for your riding style and where you ride. A lot of options. Oh, I love options. So let's take a look at this. Here we are at Danner Skidoo in Invergrove Heights. We're gonna meet Mr. Cowling here in a few minutes to accessorize our new ski do. So let's go inside and uh, go fix one up. The Skidoo MXZ XRS 800 was our favorite rough trail sled as we voted it best in class for 2012. Straight out of Skidoo's accessory catalog, we'll be installing a skid plate, tunnel protectors, studs, hand guards, and a handlebar bag. First, the skid plate install. We'll slide this up into place. What's nice is there are actually holes already in the bottom of the bulkhead of the machine. So you just need to line up the skid pan to those holes and that'll pretty much will square it right up. Okay, Steve, we got the skid pan on. Looks yeah. good. It's yeah, it looks tough. Good, yeah. Now uh, let's maybe work our way to the back and let's put some tunnel protectors while we got it up in the air. Sounds good. Tunnel protectors guard your sled's heat exchangers from being damaged if the track has studs. So these go towards the back. So basically the first one we install are the, are the, sh the shallower ones. And then we're gonna put the taller ones in the back. There's actually a channel inside there that it's, that's built into the tunnel for the dovetail to slide right in. Steve and Jeff show us how to install studs on the pre-marked Camoplast track. The studs we're using today are the ones that are uh, available through your Skidoo dealer. They're Woody's studs, first class, top-notch quality studs. Work very well, long-lasting. Yep, they are a lot bigger head than if you notice know, anybody's ever done one of the other ply tracks. A little smaller head on the older studs and a little smaller backer. Because of the single ply tracks, they need a little more support. They actually have special studs for the single ply tracks now. Now on to the extended hand guards. Yeah, basically what you have here, it's so easy to put on. It's like a clamshell. You got the bottom Velcro here, open it up, slide it over the existing hand guards, cinch it tight, fasten the Velcro there. Voila, we got hand protection here. Wind isn't gonna get underneath as easy or over the top. Hot grips are gonna work better, and my hands are gonna stay much, much warmer with the hand protection like this. Finally, onto the heated riser block bag. In this particular kit, it's very easy because we actually have a plug-in underneath the, the console here. So it's really quick and easy. If your snowball already doesn't have the accessory outlet on it, it's very easy to hook it up to it. So you don't have to splice in any wires. You don't have to, to go digging, uh, get your solder gun out or anything like that. It's got a plug and play. We've got our heating element. What there is, there's a separate little pouch in here. It's actually got a little a bottom plug here. Uh, like an iPod or, or something on that order, or if you want to run some actual power up into this bag too to, to uh, charge up your cell phone or your camera or anything like that. Skidoo's made it foolproof by providing model-specific parts straight from the factory. 2012 catalog 
chock full of accessories for your sled. Make the ride customized to fit what it is you want. You want a taller windshield, you want a different ski, you want a different handlebar. It's all right here. And the best part is it's designed by BRP. It's designed by ski engineers to fit your specific machine. It's not designed to fit seven other machines that be universal fit. It's the same quality fit and finish that you're gonna get on the original product. So all I gotta do is grab this catalog, go down to the dealer, or go online. I can order whatever we want, right? You know what, I think we only got one thing left. A little riding time? <laughs> I think we need to go do some riding We're time. We're out of here. Let's go. Stay tuned as we evaluate the MXZ XRS in our real world shootout. So how about you? Do you have any cool accessories on your sled? Always do. Got tall windshields, heated seats, hand guards, stickers, studs, carbide skis, you name it. We'd like to put it on. All the bells and whistles. Well, all right, stay right where you are. Sled at 24-7. We'll be right back. When Sledhead 24-7 returns, we'll ride along with a crew who creates snowcross tracks for the world's greatest racers. Find out how the Bison X Groomer makes it all possible. Later, Jeremy Houle from Speedworks shares his plans for getting more power from an Arctic Cat 1100 Turbo. And Jeff Fisher shares an easy install for CNA Pro Skis. And congratulations to Ross Martin for his victory in the debut of the Amsoil Dominator race in Duluth. Ross walked away on top with a check for $10,000. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. By Polaris, terrain domination by Woody's, the most trusted name in traction and control, and by Speedworks, home of straight-up USA horsepower.